Stephen Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme, made his Marvel Comics debut in Strange Tales 110 in 1963. Now 53 years later, he's finally coming to the big screen, and no, we're not counting this version, despite how good Steve Guttenberg was in the role. Whilst the new movie is an origin story, and it's likely Stephen will get his ass kicked quite a bit, not least by his sports car, this guy is a heavy hitter in the Marvel Universe. Seriously, he has like all the powers. As well as a vast knowledge of the arcane arts, he has access to multiple magical artifacts and can cast spells which allow the good doctor to summon magical entities, project energy, erect force fields, hypnotize people, access the astral plane, teleport, time travel, and even pull a rabbit from a previously empty hat. This guy's like Mandrake on steroids and shrooms. So with all this power the Doopy Bros got thinking, who can legit stand up to Doctor Strange in a fight? Or even kill him? Now, like in our Luke Cage video, we're picking characters who are of a similar power level to Strange to make for fairer, more interesting fights. And to all you nitpickers out there, this isn't the classic Strange fighting. And we're not saying that these characters will definitely kill the Doctor, just that given the right circumstances, they can conceivably pull off a win. So who made the list? Number five. Silver Surfer! Norrin Rad, aka the Silver Surfer, Herald of Galactus, is a bit of a tragic character, really. His sole purpose in life is turning up to different worlds only to announce the imminent arrival of his master who promptly devours the entire planet and everyone on it. And you thought your job was depressing. The Surfer's list of powers is almost as long as Strangers. Through his access to the Power Cosmic, he's capable of energy manipulation and projection, has incredible strength, endurance, and faster than light speed to boot. With just one blast, the Smurfer has destroyed an entire world. So don't spill his pint whatever you do. Now Strangers no uh, stranger to defending powerful opponents, and his magical barriers have indeed blocked the Surfer's attacks previously. We think the big difference here though is not Norrin's incredible speed. In the same fight, the Surfer easily escapes Strange's binding spell, so if, added to this, there's a blitz attack of blistering speed, he has every chance of taking down the Sorcerer in supreme fashion. Number 4 Thor Prince of Asgard, lover of revelry, and all-round decent bloke, Thor Odinson is another powerhouse in the Marvel Universe. So much so, they took him out of Civil War so he wouldn't just spank everyone's ass in the space of a minute. Stupid mortals and their pathetic quarrels. You know his powers, right? Asgardian physiology makes Thor far superior to your average human in every conceivable way. Particularly those golden locks. This guy should be doing L'Oreal ads for real. And of course Thor possesses that magic mallet. Mjolnir? Nailed it. Now without that hammer, we reckon Thor stands no chance. But with it, we've got a fight for the ages. Doctor Strange has been shown to affect the magical properties of the hammer in the past, but not in a way sufficient to compromise Thor's control or connection, as its enchantments are near impossible to break. This spell took some time to accomplish too, and required specific apparatus that might not always be available. Being super durable, Thor should be able to withstand the Strange's attacks, deflecting many spells with the hammer. Stamina comes into play here too, as there is only so long before Strange tires and or loses concentration, at which point the near tireless Thor takes a leaf out of Hulk's playbook and crushes the magician's hands, severely hindering from casting any more spells and pretty much ending the fight. Poor Bastard's always getting his hands messed up. Number 3 Dark Phoenix. This fight's a tough one to call. Jean Grey is a very powerful mutant in her own right, and though she possesses telepathy and telekinesis, Strange could most likely take her down with relative ease. When she's possessed by the Phoenix Force, however, you better get your ass out of Dodge. At the height of a crazy as the Dark Phoenix, and being somewhat hungry at the time, Jean devours a star in mere moments, causing catastrophic consequences. The Phoenix has even taken on Galactus himself, and well, kind of whipped him a little. Although it must be said, this was a one shot and the host of the phoenix isn't mentioned by name but still power speaking of hosts jean has indeed proved vulnerable to hex magic in the past she's had her ass handed to her by the scarlet witch numerous times however the phoenix force was responsible for reversing wonders no more mutant spell which was something that changed the very fabric of marvel's reality Apparently. So the Phoenix Force has at least some ability against magic, regardless of the host. Against Strange, the fight boils down to Steven's ability to withstand the combined telepathic, telekinetic, and psionic attacks of an immortal, indestructible entity. Phenomenal cosmic power versus magic. 
Even with all his artifacts and a great deal of prep, Strange has his work cut out for him. And in the absence of a set of adamantium claws, not to mention Brett Ratner's expert direction, the master of the mystic arts loses this one, sadly. Number two, Doctor Doom. Although Victor Von Doom has been butchered numerous times on screen, his comic counterpart is consistently one of the best villains ever. Absolute monarch of his own made-up nation, Latveria, Doom has an intellect that rivals Reed Richards, a suit of armor that trumps Tony Stark's, and even has knowledge of the mystic arts nearing the level of Doctor Strange himself. Doom's ambition is only rivaled by his arrogance, which more often than not is the character's downfall. But just before things inevitably turn to shit for him, he has on numerous occasions beaten far stronger opponents and even stolen their power. He's previously pilfered the power cosmic for God's sake. What Doom really excels in though is preparation. If it takes years to eliminate the chance of failure, Victor will take the time. Besides, it's not like he has any fantastic movies on his schedule anymore. Doom is classed as the second most powerful sorcerer after Strange, and by his own admission, Doom has knowledge of some dark arts that Strange simply doesn't hold. Also to Doom's advantage is his high level tech, which is capable of astounding feats like time travel and teleportation. Where a Strange straight up uses the mystical, Doom will employ both science and magic, and it's this combination that gives him the edge. All we can do now is hope to see an on-screen iteration that matches this character's comic book badassery. Number one, Ghost Rider. The Spirit of Vengeance has had numerous incarnations, with the Nick Cage films probably being the best known, though don't let the word best fool you. I mean, just look at this turd. Fortunately, Marvel have recently brought the character back from the brink of oblivion on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And though they've done a pretty good job bringing Robbie Reyes to the small screen, he had a bit of trouble taking on the likes of Quake. So clearly, this version is not qualified to take on Strange. Ghost Rider and Strange have fought in the comics before, and while certain circumstances meant this confrontation wasn't all it could have been, Ghost Rider does come out on top due to his patented penance stare. I'd hate for Nick Cage to stare at me that long. I think we all would. For those not in the know, or maybe you just block these films from your mind, the Ghost Rider is able to revisit all the pain a person has caused in their life back to them by locking onto their eyes. The effects range from a simple KO to petrification and even death. The Rider is pretty much immune to physical damage too, meaning the offense Strange throws out most likely won't do much at all. Add to this Ghost Rider's near limitless stamina and Strange has a big challenge on his broken ass hands. So there's our five. No doubt you guys will have one or two issues with our list, so let us know in the comments who do you think could defeat Mr. Doctor. If you like this, be sure to check out these other Doopy videos and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching!